Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Blubberbutter. Now what you missed was my recording just stopped partway through and so I played through like another hour's footage of this screen. Just, just this. Holding still. So hopefully it'll work. I'm getting kind of tired of having to replay things, but that's what happens when you try to record really old games. I can't play this in windowed mode, so I can't see the recording and make sure that it's going as I go. So the only way to do is to hit uh, Alt-Tab and check to make sure that everything's still going. And after I read letters and stuff, I'm going to have to go check it again. I'm, I'm really close to the end of this game, because at the point of me re-recording this, um, I only have two more missions left, which ideally means two more videos left. But I never know how long it's going to take and if I'm going to have to re-record anything. And I think I'm all good now. But I, I just, uh, you don't know. So, it's okay because I, I needed to split the video anyway. Maybe tower security isn't as tight as I thought. Well, because we read the Keeper's message, we know Karis is more aware of us than we think. And since I've already recorded this, I happen to know for a fact that the security isn't as low as you think. Now this is actually not very difficult, it's just long and very maze-like, but because I've already played through this, hopefully this will be relatively short. I would like to not have to redo, because like when I played through this, this is like an hour and 20 minutes of footage that I wasn't looking forward to recording, so I guess it works out that I have to re-record it. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to editing it, so the fact that I no longer have to edit it and I just have to re-record it, make sure everything is recording. Looks like it is, although the gamma is so horrible. Now, there are a lot of people here. On um, easy is not as horrible as it could be, but there are plenty of people, and not just guests, like like hammerite guard or not hammerite mechanist guards. So a lot of this mission is going to be taking place just waiting for people to come by and smacking them. And uh, there's some interesting things developing. Now the goal right now, if you look at your uh, things, uh, sneak into his office. Travel via rooftop. Basically, that that one you automatically get because you die if you go on the streets. Spy on Karis to learn why he's throwing a party. Uh, break into his office to get some information on the Cetus project, and find and read his latest entry in the new scriptures. And then, yeah. So what this really involves is listening to a series of messages. I think there's five messages each, one for each floor, um, that he left for the guests. And then you have to break into his office. So ideally, I guess I should be starting down on the bottom floor because I think you work your way down. So I'm actually going to stop here once I knock this guy out, go down to the bottom and work my way up instead of just wandering around like a maniac like I did last time. And hopefully, hopefully that'll be relatively short. My voice is back. I'm no longer sick. So that is good. I can scream in all my girly glory. Come on, dude. You are so unbelievably slow. Miller doesn't care about you. That's actually really, really mean to say. I, I should probably avoid things like that. I'm going to go ahead and save, save file. Three. Save file. I'm sounding like I'm southern again. Well, like I said, we'll, we'll have to mess with this later. Oh, there's an elevator. Actually, that works out better. No, I'm going to stick to the secret areas because those are safer. The elevators have a tendency to not work when you need them to. And by not work, I mean like someone will be waiting for you at the bottom. So let's go ahead, work my way down to the bottom. Everything's metal here, so walking and having your steps not heard is very difficult. What does this say? Brethren, the guard in the office door shall be changed upon every three hours, although there's no real time in this, so I don't think that matters. Although I trust that our guests shall not be curious enough to attempt entrance. Further precaution, however, if the carriers has entrusted me with the soul key, most of the alarms, Basically, Vilnia has the only key to his office, and you need to find it. This isn't good. I can't even put out that light. Where are they coming from? Okay. One person there. Coming right toward me. Come on. For the builder's sake, what was that? Nothing. Was probably nothing. Probably. <laughs> That's a creepy statue. Now there are several secrets in this game, like I said before. Even more secrets, uh, like this level has a ton of secrets. Some of them are cool, some of them aren't. I've actually missed a couple of them, and I refound them and replaying to get back to this point. Um, but they weren't big enough. There's one. There is one that I actually think is big enough, so I'll, I'll show it to you later. 
And again, we'll mess with that later. For now, we're going to start away on the bottom floor. Please, uh... Ah! That worked out well. That worked out so well. Let me make sure that it is, in fact, recording. Looks like it is. Good for them. Let's head down here again. Let's, let's try this without the death part. There we go. I could drop down there if I want, but there are patrols down here. Now, this segment was really cool when I played it uh, on Expert years and years ago. There, uh... There is a big robot down here, and I grabbed one of the mechanist's, um... Club things, maces. And I stood on that thing right there, and I looked down at him, and I just chucked it down. I was like, ha, I wonder if that'll hit. And it did, and it destroyed him. Uh, like, blew him to pieces. <sighs> I think. That's how I remember it. And you never know if your memories as a child are actually accurate. So when I say blew into pieces, what probably happened is he just collapsed and said malfunction, but I, I distinctly remember, like, his limbs flying in different directions. Oh. So, there is that. Yes, everything's recording. I forgot to check my mic. So, I'm really glad that that is, in fact, recording. Now, the way this works is he's going to turn around, and you don't really have to bother with anything else. You just have to hear the message. Oh. Okay. There is a dude over there, but there's nothing of importance over there. Just want to listen to this message. Message number one of six. Keep this functioning. Oh. <laughs> My good guest. Welcome to Angel Watch. I have gathered you here, citizens of exceptional greeting. For a fine and festive evening. The builder's work never ceases. Thus, I am not able to attend in person, but I am present in past and work, as you can plainly hear. From Vinia will be your host in my absence. Now, our evening together begins. So, Karras doesn't even show up for his own party. So I head back up to floor two. So that's a, it, it, people are doing a tour apparently, and starting from floor one and working their way up. I listened to it in horrible order because I started at like four, four, and then went down to three, then up to five. So my experience is a little weird, but since I'm recording and I have the option, since I have to re-record it, um, it'll do well to hear them in order. Hmm. What shadow passed my view? No shadow. None at all. You weren't even looking this way. All filthy and unholy rot. Surely that's all it was. <coughs> this stop thy flutterings. Oh crap! He's a magician too. Here, I'll let you guys see this because I've never been caught. Well, they shoot little cogs. That's cool. I wonder if I can get them to kill each other. Not really important though. I did. Are they gonna sound the alarm? Because if they are, I'm gonna reload. Got a key of some sort. Okay. His hand still on fire. Good thing that fire does not alert people to my presence. So, looks like I won't have to reload this after all. Where'd that stupid robot go? I hate these things. They're so annoying. I don't actually have to kill it, but I want him out of the way because they're so annoying. Come on, buddy. And another person? Oh, it's a guest. What are you doing down here? Uh, what? This Someone. There was no one here. Ooh. Go, grab, grab. There's a glitch where sometimes the bodies don't let you grab them. Whatever. Water! Maybe the robot's, like, stuck permanently in there, which is a shame, because that's where I need to go. What is this? Oh, this is another way I could have gotten there. What are these things? No clues where they are. Lots of machinery. 
Not very much useful areas. They play playing cards, those horrible demons. Oh, the hammer. Why do they have a hammer? This is a mechanist place. Like I said, the hammer can kill the robots. I don't know about, like, just throwing it at them, though. Oh, good, it'll be a one-timer. That was useful. Literally nothing. Okay, so let me let me try, since I just saved. Just chucking the hammer at it. See what happens. <laughs> That's cool. That's so cool. I didn't know I could do that. Huh. Okay, let's listen to this message. behind the masks were lost and unproductive. Now, they are models of efficiency. Really? Alas, if only I could be there to share with thee the wonder of this moment. Let's talk about the servants. And I digress. On with the tour. Is this two of six? He was talking about the, the servant things that, uh, the, the, the... Basically, the robot zombies. I don't know if they made them from dead bodies or if they were alive and made that way. They don't really talk about it, so I don't know. But basically, they were stealing people to do it. That's what you saw in previous episodes. Was this Lessus 2? Message number three of six. Number three? Aw, oh, man. Okay, so they have... They're not in order from greatest to smallest. Does the key open this? Oh. Whoa! Cool. Well, that's it. Uh, scouting orb. I don't really use the scouting orb very much. You don't usually need it. Uh, there aren't very many cases in which it's actually useful. Okay, so that was message three, so I don't know where message two was. Because I went down to the first floor. I worked my way up, so how did he do it? Obviously, they didn't take the elevator, so there's probably some kind of path I'm supposed to be following. Oh, well. I'm not going to try to keep him in order. I don't have time to waste this. Oh, hi. Forgot about you. So we're just going to work our way up floor by floor. This is floor three. Floor three has a lot of people in it. If I remember correctly, let's save. Save file four. Oh, there's a woman here. Hmm? Didn't have any time to react. I'm really tired of picking these locks. There we go. Money. I'm a little bit fond of money. This game doesn't, like, when you're playing on easy, money isn't that useful. I'm pretty sure the costs are more expensive and expert. Okay, so there's a bit of a texture error there. Hand mirror apparently isn't useful. Nor is a hairbrush. These beds look sketchy like I expect someone to die from that. That picture frame is somewhat disturbing to me. How do I get... I get to where I need to go. I have to ha head through that area then. Well, fortunately, I have this. Huh? Nothing. Is that the? No, yes. <laughs> Wait. Show thyself. Reveal thyself. Let's uh try not to get hurt. As soon as Wherever I see your head. Be, I shall find nope. That didn't work. Wow. Hey, I I will not complain about that. That was useful. What was that? Guards! Guards don't exist anymore. Well, I didn't kill them. That sounded more evil than I meant it to. 
I've been playing this kind of as a pacifist. I'm not even sure why. It was really with the guards and the mechanists alike, I, I could kill them, and I did in that one mission. But, uh... It's just how I tend to- oh crap. I'm just gonna see the body. Uh... Sure. Come on, guys. The builder will guide me to the weed. Got two of them with that one. For some reason, the third one didn't work. I've, I've actually recorded this a couple times. Apparently, the AI for this person... Finally! Finally! Okay. This is horrible. Dude, I, I, I do get really, really, really tired of the really horrendous AI. Just she, she kept surviving blasts. She shouldn't have survived. Message number five of six. Now it's five of six. The being who created beauty to bring us joy. For the joyful of spirit walk the longest. And in this gallery we find beauty. Fine guests thou surely have precious works of art in thy home. Here too the servants are of use. They are completely trustworthy. At first hint of trouble they will call to the nearest guard. Take some time to appreciate our gallery, then Vilnia will escort you to the ballroom. Okay, so I have no clue what order these things are in. Going steadily up is not working. Okay. One of these machines are here, apparently. What type of machine? Where's this one out here? Okay, down there. Not gonna bother with that for now. That was the lowest floor that I started on, floor one. Okay. Oh, here's the stairway. Oh, the stairway just heads up. Well, this was unfortunate timing. I'm not going to save right now. I don't know if there's another way to get through there. Looks like there might be. There we go. Well, that was kind of lazy, but whatever. Let's get the one on four. Four also has quite a bit to be concerned about. There should be a guard over there. Ah, uh, one of the servants. Do not what? God! <laughs> Message number two of six. Okay, so this was supposed to be the next one. Greetings again, guest. I pray your spirits do not suffer for my absence. I present <laughs> each and give. The most wondrous yet of my innovations. A living worker suited to all household tasks. Ready always to perform your bidding. I call them the servants. The servant knows not how to aid or gossip. The servant knows only how to tirelessly perform thy will. Be it cooking, cleaning, or barking. Please, accept them with my gratitude. But the tour continues. Pray to follow Vilnia once again. The meaning being that he uh, gave 
a servant these things to each the guests. I didn't. I, they must be alive because it says unconscious body, not corpse. So, that's unfortunate. I almost wonder if it'd be better for them to be killed than. Who's there? What noise does it make? There you go. Come on, dude. So I almost wonder if it'd be better to kill them than to leave them unconscious, but you'll figure out what's going on later. I have the building. And like I said, I've actually recorded several, several things ahead. I'm having to replay this again, so. Unfortunately, it's not a reaction-based commentary. I already know what's happening. What is this? Oh, here's that horrible place. So this is where the path was supposed to head, I guess. But not to that one. It was supposed to, They went up here and then down there to the other place, so their, their order is really weird. But I guess that's not important. There's still more to discover here. I'm going to save over save file 2. I'm not going to have to edit too much of this, because I mostly know what I'm doing. But there are just enough moments, like that one horrible area. Okay, good. This room's useful. Oh, there's no one here. I'm not going to pick these. I have everything I need. I don't need whatever it is they're offering. Well, I guess I grabbed everything I need to off this floor. I really thought there there was another thing. Because I think five is the last floor, so I'm pretty sure there's still more to do. Hold on. Head down this hallway now. Okay. Let's see if I can make it this time. Oh. These guys are creepy. I thought there was a secret in one of these statues. Where you, like, click their eye or something. Not these ones, apparently. Well, they're making weird sounds, and I don't like that. Jump over here. Steal money from someone. Another locked area I'm not going to open because it's not important. Am I still recording? Please tell me I am. Looks like I am. I would be really frustrated to have to redo this again. Oh yeah! Now this is a little fun thing. The window's open, but it does literally nothing. Like, it doesn't lead anywhere. You can look down at the rooftops over here. Now you can get past this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it like I did last time, but I did it before. There we go. Yep. But it doesn't do anything. You weren't supposed to be over here. None of these windows open up. There's no secret. Nothing. And uh, if you think that it'd be fun to just like climb around on this statue. Nope. You go right through him. So. that that That's, that's a, a fun little secret of uselessness. Which is m most of the secrets in this game honestly. It's kind of unfortunate. I kind of wish that the secrets would have a little more value and meaning. Well, it looks like I'm done on this floor. I really thought there was more on this floor. I might have to go down to another floor, because I still have to read Karis's, uh... Oh, no, 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 There's there are six floors. Okay. And I'm pretty sure floor six is the last one. No! I hit the wrong button. Stop closing. You guys close automatically so creepily and... At the worst possible times. Uh oh. This is the one I was talking about. Floor 5 is probably the worst one. Oops. Let's go get some health back. There we go. Got myself a little more health back because I've been kind of careless this time. Oh. Come on. Stop! My stupid mouse. Double clicking. No water arrows in here. Never know what 
prompts the water arrows and what doesn't. Oh, I didn't know this was here. Yeah, this is where you would have come out if you took the rafters. Now that note's just saying the same thing before that the guards have. There's only one key, and sister or whatever has it. I don't know how you would have known I was in that corner, because I ducked away. But that's how it goes. Crud. That worked way better than I expected. And better than it's ever worked for me in the past. Who's there? Guards! There's a thief lurking about. How do you know? Well, it's funny that they always know that it's a thief if they see anything out of the ordinary. It's not, oh, someone was stupid, or someone misplaced this, or, oh, this guy got drunk and passed out, or maybe, hey, there's a murderer. It's always a thief. You are not observant. More health. So many things here. This book. Is this the pastor? Oh, it's the guest list. Good, good, good. Uh, let me make sure I am recording. I am. I have to do that for like every passage now. Now this actually this isn't an OBS problem, because this has happened with uh, Fraps before. Ah, here. Well, let me start this and I can loot this place well. Message number four of six. Privilege, 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 guest. I trust you will enjoy this speech presented by the servants I have given you. Imagine a short while ago these servants were consigned to an asylum. Mentally feeble. They oh. were of no use to anyone. Now they are safe and productive. Now they know happiness. Mm. Would that I could be with you tonight to the servants make excellent cooks. After you gone, friend Vilnia will guide the arm to the gallery. Well, that's unfortunate. Basically, what I'm getting from all of these messages is they all basically say the same thing. The servants are great. You have the servant. The servants are great. Enjoy your servant. Hey, I'm giving you a servant. Enjoy your servant. Except for the first one that said, hey, I'm not here. Sorry. But then, even then, he was hinting at the servants. But, like, that that's what they all have in common. I'm not sure if this is his office. So I might... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's his office. So I can't go there right now. I have to go get the key. That was not good. There it is. Opened up some secret door. Where'd that open up from? Oh, I got a key. That key's actually really important, and I will show you why. Or it's not really important. It's for a secret. But that's the hard way to get it and not the cool way. So I'll show you the cool way. Hello? Oh, don't fall in the fire. Ah! Oh, good. He's still unconscious. Sorry. Right, go sleep. My bad. Sleep it off. Helps burns. Oh, it's right here. This has a gas it. Gas arrow. I'm playing too much Minecraft, apparently. Now, let me make sure again this is saving. Uh, recording. Looks like it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Hi. <coughs> Go to bed. Oh, yeah, the Carlisle Armory Key. And that's 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 a thing that could be useful. But I'm not going to do that. So apparently the Armory guest... Uh, you got one of the clues. I think I read it in the other video. Um, where it said that, you know, it's it's impenetrable. You can't break it. But you can't pick the lock. So, But I assume for a Master Thief that won't be an issue. That This is one of the ways to get there. And I'll do it later. 
But there's another way to do it that's even more fun. What was that? Oh. Gosh. That's just my phone telling me there's a Steam game I want on sale. Yay. Alright, where's the uh, generic key? There we go. Well, this is a very useful room. Oh. Have to pick this lock. Ah, the scripture. Now this is actually also important. I'm gonna go ahead and save save file two again. New scripture of the master builder. The builder smiled upon the things Karis had done. Out of devotion, he had invented many machines, and these machines now served him well. He had transformed wretched humans into agents of the builder's will, controlled directly by the influence of Karis' machines. These were called servants, and they had been embraced by those in the city who considered themselves superior because of the wealth of their coffers instead of their spirits. These same people that beamed at Karis with one face, but with another face smirked amongst each other and shared affronts. For this, Karis had once detested them, but now he saw their role in the Builder's plan. In all these things, Karis had forged the tools that he would need to bring the Builder's paradise to the world. The Builder looked upon these tools as Karis made preparations to put them to use. His gaze showed favor, and Karis felt the Builder's hands upon him, and the Builder's strength helped him carry out his burdens. Oh, that's for sure. This Karis guy has lost his mind. Unfortunately, I actually know what's happening now. This person. Scared the crap out of me the first time I saw it. He's harmless. Doesn't do anything. He's also invincible. No one really knows what it is. The game doesn't ever explain it. Uh, the best idea is that he's Karis' personal servant, and he made one that was more... useful to him. But, uh... Oh. I'm not gonna pick that, I don't need it. And I've already been through here. So he wanders around, I think he's trying to alert someone, but I'm pretty sure I took out everybody who is a threat in this so far. So I actually, I actually know what he has planned for all these things, but that's not important for now. Key, where's the key? Interesting. And there's nothing in here, so that was useful. A mechanist hammer. I actually, I've never tried bludgeoning the child, but it seems to be invincible. I don't think it'll die. And uh, the, the golden child, I think is what people call it. Like I said, the game doesn't ever explain it. So now we move on to the next section, which is almost the last section. I have a gas arrow. That's probably the easiest way to do this. Somehow didn't get her. That was really odd reaction. Let's find a different way there, because I'm tired of this. If the AI worked properly, I could do this, but it isn't working. They magically know where I am, and I'm getting really tired of it. Is this still recording? Looks like it is. I didn't like this mission in the first place. There are too many bugs, and it just doesn't run smoothly. So I'm a little frustrated that I have to redo this whole thing. So I was actually quite happy with not having to. Alright, here are stairs. I'll take the stairs there. Maybe I can find some way. I don't know what I just did. Anyway, this is the end of the tour. Even though I'm in shadow, it says I'm not. So, that's another thing about this is that the... That the lighting is just bad. But again, these are the problems when you play an old game. It's just frustrating when you have to do this. Again, she's the biggest problem. So I'm going to go ahead and use a gas arrow on her. Is someone there? There. It's guards! He's on Can you actually... She doesn't have money. Okay. Good cog.
Let me try to just rush him. Got him. Fine. She has the office key. That's what you need. Let's listen to this last message. Message number six of six. It is here that our evening ends. Enjoy the music and dance if thou wilt. On the morrow, when thou dost return home, your servant will be waiting for thee. Yeah? They travel on their own. Indeed, on occasion, they will leave your homes in response to a device I call the Guiding Beacon and return to us for but small adjustments. Upon their return to your homes, better servants they'll be. I apologize yet again for my absence tonight, noble friends. Fare me well. Okay. So that was the end of that thing. Uh, there are some water arrows here. I don't need it. The mission's almost over. So I'm going to head back down to his office. Which I'm pretty sure was fastest way was this way. I wonder if I can just drop there. It'd be faster. <clears throat> I have plenty of healing items. Alright, where's his office? right around here somewhere. No. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. Okay. So now that I have the office key. Key, please. Office key. Here's where things get interesting. I'm going to go ahead and save save file one. You have to listen to this first. Greetings, Garrett. Thou art expected, though not precisely welcomed. Seem not so surprised. I have anticipated thine arrival, just as I now anticipate thy departure. <laughs> art thou a religious man? It is time to say thy prayers. Thy sins will be thine own undoing. So, that just happened. Anyway, you have to hit this button, and then run. Uh-oh. Time to get the goods and get out of here while I still can. Oh. No, I have to go this way. Sorry, golden boy. Oh, it's so creepy. <clears throat> okay, I wasn't supposed to fall, but whatever. Can you stop falling instead of hitting the ladder? Jeez. This game. Okay. Here we go. The way out is this way. Now, it's not just as simple as just getting out. Because now I have to go return back to the bell tower. Oh. Let me look up the new objectives. Basically, get back to where you were. And that's what you have to do. I'm going to save, save file 2. Just going to quick save. Stop. They have, now they have new guards over here, so the th secret I wanted to show you is now going to be a little more difficult because of this. Now you could just rush it and you'll probably be fine. But I'm not going to. I had the opportunity. What was that? You are caught. See, like, as far as the AI goes, in that instance I hit her multiple times without being caught. So, so I mean, the, especially for the archers, it seems like a lot of times it's the archers, the AI is just horrible. Um, I'm done with this. I'm not gonna deal with this bullshit. Wouldn't have to, except the game kind of forces you to. So, a little frustrated at that. We head back into this room. There's a secret up. One of these places. There it is. Alright, so what you do is you... Well, burst. Okay. Finally smash that down. There's a secret room here. So you open that up, you get 
this thing, a Starburst device. And I think this uh, that showed up, that device showed up one other time in the first game. You had to smash something open or something like that. I'm not totally sure. Let's read this thing. I've never read it. The Stargazer's Journal. I can stand it no longer since my first examination to that distant globe, that uh, glorious blue jewel. I knew my time here in the city was at an end, for how could I possibly remain content in this quagmire of filth, corruption, and religious fanaticism when there exists a whole new world just within reach, ripe for the exploration? The means of my departure is almost within my grasp despite a recent setback. Brellick is a fine young servant and a dedicated laboratory assistant. Oh, the anguish as I removed his entrails from the plaza's great statue. And worst of all, I realize it is my own miscalculations that cost the lad his life. How could I have been so stupid? The scientific principle is sound, I'm sure. Using my patented sunburst device and explosives of highest magnitude, a thick wooden box can travel to the distance needed to reach the stars. How foolish of me to forget the protective layer of lead. But the past is exactly that, and time to move on. I have hired a new assistant, a drunken old crone named Hild... Hild? Who will make the test flight. The sunburst device will simply be placed under a block and ignited from a distance, and Hild will soar to that beautiful new world. Once there, she is to communicate with me via a smoke signal when it is safe for me to proceed. She is, of course, a bit nervous about the proceedings, but a pint of Aedish gin should be enough to put her fears at rest. To the stars. Well, this guy, uh... Well, this guy's interesting. I don't know what planet he's talking about. Oh, I feel bad. I just... I just stole this guy's sunburst device needed for this. Oh, well. Oh, well. It's not important. Anyway, uh... Future Blubber Butter? Cut! I can't okay. See them. This is where you need to be. Come back here and fight. You run across this thing. For the builder's sake, what was that? Oh, I forgot there was someone here. Sorry, lady. Wrong place at the wrong time. There are There's a spider and some arrows and stuff in there. I shot this in advance when I found it. Oh, there's a person there. Okay. So when you knock him out, you come over here. And there's this door that you can't unlock. And there's nothing you can do. If you read over here this message, I'm not going to do it because it risks stopping the recording, which is still going good. Uh, it basically says that this is where people go in times of shelter, and it, it's an armory. So now you could use the key that you find in the mission to open it up, but a more fun way of doing this, and I've never done it before, ever, so this will be interesting. Where's the Starburst device? Someone's messaging me on Steam, and I need them to stop. Oh, alright, Starburst device. So, if I set this down, this will kill you. If you do it wrong, I don't even know how. What what is its what is its distance? What does it destroy? I wonder if it'll blow open the door from over here because I've I've heard it has a really large explosive area. So I'm gonna put it over there. Try to get some distance. Uh, clearly, this thing has got to be huge because this guy claims that it can launch you to the stars. I don't know how he thinks that'll work. But it's cool that uh, apparently there are other planets that he thinks have life. So I, don't, I wonder if this game aliens are... I failed. What are you talking about? This is totally the first time I've ever tried this. Okay, let's try this again. Well, it blew up, but I don't think that actually worked. That wasn't as big as I expected or hoped for. <sighs> Oh, this guy's dead. That's too bad. And it didn't even work. Okay, uh, let's retry that. Let's try putting this down here. Let's get this guy in a more safe location. Well, let's uh, let's try this. I don't know how this is going to work for me. I feel like this is going to destroy me. And it blew open the door. Excellent. Healing potion that I don't need. Flash orbs that I don't need. Noisemaker arrows, mines. So there are a lot of things here. It was just kind of a fun secret, though, so. Oh well. Uh, future Blubber Butter. Cut! And this is the end of the mission. There we go. Yay! 
That's that. This is a- I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like this mission. It was just way too long and tedious. Most of it wasn't even challenging, it was just needlessly long and tedious, so, you know, I guess it's whatever. Um, there were some cool things there, but most of it was just spent wasting time, so, which is why I don't like it. In case you guys haven't noticed by now, one of my biggest pet peeves is wasting time. I, I hate wasting time. Um, so when a game when, when a game developer does it, I call that wasting the gamer's time, and it's something I judge harshly on. In this mission, I really just feel like it just wasted my time. It just took way too long and didn't get enough done. It just, you know, if you're not enjoying it, it's just even more wasted time, so... But whatever, uh, we got some plot out of that, and I've recorded the next couple episodes, so I'll have those edited and posted really soon, and hopefully this actually worked out. And if it didn't, I, I might just cut parts out, because I don't know that I'm going to re replay this a second time. So, anyway, with that, I'm going to stop. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like, subscribe would be amazing. You all have a great day, and I, Mr. Blubberbutter, will see you later. Bye.